is Brooke. We are bringing to you the first CCB TV broadcast of 2015. I hope all your guys' summer went well. Me too. Now over to Spencer and Will with the sports. How you doing, folks? This is Spencer and Will coming to you with sports. I have a feeling that the sports teams are going to be great this year. I agree with you 100%, Will. Now let's talk about some action the sports teams are getting into. The football team is looking very good this year. They have won their first game 28-0. There, there are definitely some players that could be very good. Both volleyball teams are looking for winning seasons. They sure have the players to do it. Now the cross country team. They're looking very fast and they've even brought home a few medals at their first meets. Well that is all for sports. Back to Brooke and Lexi. Thank you for those updates. Now to Aaliyah and Julian for calendar events. I'm Aaliyah. I'm Julian. And we're going to tell you about the upcoming calendar events. Thursday, October 1st, 7th and 8th grade football is at Abilene. Friday, October 2nd, 8th grade mentor lunch. Saturday, October 3rd, 7th grade volleyball is at Fort Riley. Tuesday, October 2nd, 7th grade volleyball at Clifton. October 8th, the 8th grade volleyball will be at home. There will be a pep rally during pause. Cross country will be at Chapman. And the 7th grade volleyball will be at Rock Creek. 7th and 8th grade football will play at home. Friday, October 9th, 7th grade will have a mentor lunch. Saturday, October 10th, 7th and 8th grade volleyball will be playing for NCKL at Concordia. Thursday, October 13th, all football is at home. Wednesday, October 14th, 6th grade web kids will meet. Thursday, October 15th, cross country is at NCKL. Friday, October 16th, there is a girls basketball meeting. Everyone should get out. And yeah, we have an early dismissal that day too. Tuesday, October 20th, a wrestling meeting during school. Wednesday, October 21st through 23rd, there's parent, teacher, student conferences, 4 to 8 p.m. Friday, October 23rd, double woohoo, no school. Thursday, October 29th, 7th and 8th grade girls basketball at Riley County. Saturday, October 31st, get your costumes ready. It's Halloween, trick or treat. Now to student and teacher interviews. Lexi and this is Mrs. Seamers, our new librarian. What do you like about being a librarian? I like getting to see the kids on a daily basis and getting to know people. Where, do you, where did you graduate? I graduated here in Clay Center at the high school um, year 2003. What is your favorite food? I really like Chinese food. You can never go wrong with Chinese food. Where would you like to travel? I lived in Florida for a while and I would love to go back there. Thank you. Hi, I'm Julian Dreher and I'm interviewing Rachel Jones. Rachel, what did you do over the summer? I swam and spent time with my family. What sports and or activities are you looking forward to this school year? Um, volleyball and basketball. What is your favorite class you're enrolled in? Creative. Thank oh, you. I'm Spencer Pageant and I'm interviewing Dawson Humphrey. What did you do over the summer this year? Worked on my grandpa's farm. What sports and or activities are you looking forward to doing? Football and basketball. What is your favorite class you're enrolled in? Ag. Thank you very much. Now let's hear about who's doing something. Tell me something good. Tell me something good. We've seen you all doing something good. Geek Squad got their eyes on you. like nobody else has ever done. I get goosebumps just tell me about it. And it all came from just one or some look in, look up, look out. Say with me, ready? Look in, look up, look out. Say it one more time. To start off our school year at CCCMS, Dan Britton came and shared with us from the SCA and One Word organization. All the students seem to like his talk in choosing their one word. Look up and then look out. That's all for this month. We'll see you all next time on CCB TV.